Chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Students Loan, Boyega Ishaka, has reaffirmed the federal government's commitment to adequately fund the student loan program for all eligible citizens enrolled in public tertiary institutions nationwide. Ishaka, who represented the Badebon North Imeko Afon federal constituencies in Ogun State, gave this assurance during a press briefing at the National Assembly Complex in Abuja. Also, a provision there, a provision for disqualification. You can be disqualified from, you know, from this loan, or even as a Nigerian. If, for instance, you are a member, it is confirmed by the authority that you are a member of a court group. If it is confirmed that you have been involved in exploitation malpractices before, it is confirmed that you have been involved in hard drugs, you know, by the authority, and so many, of, so many of those, some of some of those kind of social vices. So it's also a way to also correct some of those things in the system. He also mentioned that the funds needed to support the program would be sourced from 1% of all revenues generated to the Federation account. I mean, the whole essence of this is, number one, it's about cost sharing. Number one, number two, is also to give the students the opportunity to also have a say into their future. Now, if you want to go and read engineering, and the cost of engineering is so much, and you feel that your parents cannot afford it, therefore you want to, because of that, go to business admin or go to sociology. Now you have opportunity to go and read your engineering because you know that at least you'll be able to, you know, you'll, you'll be able to, um, you know, um, assess a loan that can take you out of, uh, out of, out of, out of school, and, and also to bring some sanity into our education education system. Uh, we now have a situation where, at the end of the day, uh, both the government, the parents, and the students are all contributing towards educating a child. I mean, who will now be given an opportunity to start repayment up to a maximum of 10% of his gross income, I mean, which is, that is what is in the law, um, when he even starts even start working. I think that is, just, uh, that is just the summary I can give. Recall that on Wednesday, President Bola Tinibu signed the Students' Loans Access to Higher Education Act, Repeal and Reenactment Bill 2024 into law following its earlier passage in March by both chambers of the National Assembly.